how to record vocals in Logic Pro. So definitely more of a beginner tutorial if you already know how to get this set up. We're going to go right to the basics on this one. Recording vocals, a couple things you need. You need a microphone. We're going to be using the Rode NT1A microphone. You need an audio interface. This is the Focusrite Scarlett 4i4. Pretty standard interface if you want to get one. And we're going to need an XLR cable. So what's going to happen is we will plug in the XLR, plug it into your microphone. Then we're going to plug in the end of the XLR cable into our interface. And then this plugs in through USB to your computer. So what's happening here is you're singing through here. The audio is going in through the cable into this interface and the interface is turning it into a digital signal. Not only that, but it's also amplifying the sound with power. Get that set up. I'm going to have it set up here and then we'll do the rest in Logic. The next steps here in Logic are important. This, this is just a backing track that I'm going to sing over. Don't worry too much about that. The focus is how do we record vocals? So let's just name this vocal. Now we need to set up our inputs on the on the interface what, what that is you need to tell this is just an audio track by the way i went to track new audio track we need to tell this audio track in logic what input is our xlr cable that i just showed you where did we plug that into our interface so on the focus right scarlet we have two inputs we have this first input and the second input. Your interface might have one input, it might have 16 inputs, but it might have two as well. So for me, I'm gonna plug it into the first one on the furthest left, which means I'm gonna go here to input and go input one. So once that's set up, the next step would be to just double check that the actual microphone can hear, hear it. So let's just click into it. See how I'm clicking into the microphone, nothing's happening on the track. So go to record enabled. You see that now? We have clicks coming in here. This is the time where we need to properly set the gain because we don't want to record at low gain, like low volume, because then we're going to have to really increase the gain later in post-production. And we don't want to record too high, like too loud, because then we're going to have to decrease the gain later, but it also it could ruin our recordings because it could start distorting. What we're going to have to do is increase the gain this knob here on the channel. This um, and You might not be using this, but your interface will have it anyways. The gain knob is to increase the amplification and increase that gain on the interface to make sure your vocal on the microphone, on this number here in the left corner, doesn't go past like a negative 12, maybe. You could go higher, sure, if you're at negative 9, negative 10. I wouldn't go past negative 6, definitely not. Just so we have enough headroom to, to bump it up after, and I wouldn't really go below negative 18. I find that's too low. Different strokes for different folks. So people will, will tell you different things, I'm sure. That, but as long as you're in that negative 12, negative eight, negative 13, in that green area, you're gonna be okay. If I just sing a little bit of the verse, which I'm gonna sing over this, I'll be able to gain stage the appropriate gain. Every night I've been feeling so. Okay, so I've checked that. You can see it's, Peaking at negative 11, that's good for me, good enough for me to record with. So now we're ready to record. The gain is set properly. Our microphone is here. What you're going to need to do now, which I won't have um, this in this video, is but stand up, get into a comfortable position, warm up your voice, put your headphones on, and make sure that this track is not being played out of your monitors, only your headphones. So make sure your headphones are plugged in properly and the sound is coming out of your headphones. If you're not sure where that is, you can go to your input and output settings in the Logic Preferences. Another thing is uh, that I suggest is using a pop filter, which is something you put on your microphone in front of it. And then what the pop filter is going to do is just, or it's going to reduce a little bit of this, the S's, the, not the S's so much, but the pops, the a, like a, a big influx of air going into the microphone, which causes the microphone to pop. That's going to reduce that. So it is helpful to have one of those. Make sure the volume in your headphones isn't too loud. It wants to be at a comfortable volume so you don't sing too loud. That's comfortable for me. If you want to hear yourself in your speakers, you can go to system uh, preferences by going command comma, audio, and going to, uh, sorry, general under audio, software monitoring. So audio tab, and then general tab. Turn that on if you want to hear yourself in your headphones. You can also add a bit of reverb if you want to hear that here as well. You can add a bit of compression. 
as soon as you start adding plugins in Logic here, it's going to affect the latency of your of your computer and your your audio flow. So you can put on low latency mode. And if you, I have it up here. This is a little orange button. You can get that by going to um, customize control bar and display low latency monitoring mode. You can actually put software monitoring mode on here as well. So you can kind of, that's, this is low latency mode and then software, software monitoring, monitoring mode, which, which now I can hear myself in my headphones. headphones. Let's get going. I'm just going to record vocals now. So this is the end of the video. Have the click on too. So you're so you're in time. Every night I've been feeling. Okay, but <laughs> I gotta do that again. I'm not in the right tempo. Let's go. Every night I've been feeling so low. I don't know if my thoughts are normal Maybe I should have told you this before That's how to record vocals. At this point, you have to do multiple takes to get the right recording. We can start adding effects, auto-tune, compression, reverb to really bring out the vocal. Uh, if you record over, over this vocal, you can set up a comp in Logic, which creates a take folder. If I just did a quick take right now, now we have two takes in this one folder where we can create a comp of that take. And that's how to record vocals in Logic Pro. Let me know if you have any, have any comments. This is very much a, an in the box way to get up quick and running recording vocals in Logic Pro. So thanks for sticking around for this one and hope to see you in the next how-to.